impeachment mark the end of the bull market? In order to answer this question, we have to understand that unlike larger samples to help us attempt to decipher the impact of factors like inflation, interest rates, wars, and even inverted yield curves on the U.S. stock market, we only have three impeachments in the history of the market, one of them being the impeachment of Andrew Johnson in 1868, which may not hold any significance today. What we can say is that according to Market Watch, from the beginning of the Watergate break-in on June 17, 1972, until Nixon's resignation on August 8, 1974, the S&P 500 tumbled minus 23.7%. At one point during President Clinton's entanglement in the Star Report and impeachment, the market experienced a negative 19.4% drop, according to data from CFRA research. However, before you think you see a pattern, one other data point you should be aware of is that from when the House voted to start President Clinton's impeachment proceedings on October 8, 1998, to the Senate's acquittal on February 12, 1999, the S&P provided a rather healthy 28% gain. Therefore, does this mean that an impeachment will be the end of the bull market, or that it does not matter? Let us look at other factors that were in play while the market was moving down or up during the previous two impeachments. When examining President Nixon, you have to consider the state of the economy at that time. In our view, J.P. Morgan's John Norman summarizes it best in an August 18th note to clients. In the six months before Nixon resigned, the S&P 500 declined about 20%, U.S. 10 years rates rose about 120 basis points, the trade-weighted dollar fell about 2.5%, and gold rose about 15%. These were extraordinary times, however, with or without domestic politics. The Bretton Woods system of fixed exchange rates was in the process of disintegrating due to U.S. balance of payment stress and Nixon's decision to suspend the dollar's convertibility into gold and devalue the currency in 1971. Hence the dollar's erratic swings and gold's rally during this period. The first oil shock in late 1973 delivered both recession and rising inflation in 1974, and thus a stagflation-driven sell-off in equities and bonds. Would this imply that a recession-bound economy that was in an unmitigated mess could have been a heavier and more prominent factor than the impeachment? When the market declined by almost 20% in 1998, the economic news was not good. The markets were dealing with Asian crisis, the Russian default, and the collapse of long-term capital. However, once the House voted to start President Clinton's impeachment proceedings, the market rose as the strong economy and the dot-com craze failed to wake the bears. So will an impeachment end our bull market? In our view, pay more attention to the underlying markets and their strength or weakness, as this may be a far more predictive indicator to the future price of the S&P than impeachment. Please subscribe to our channel for more Dunham Insights.